Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Apparently, it was a heart attack. Have you ever wondered about the final moments of the legendary Elvis Presley? The king of rock and roll left the world with more than just an unparalleled musical legacy. Who makes me tremble with wonderful rapture? His last words and a heartfelt wish reveal a side of Elvis seldom seen by his adoring public. I would like to think that I am I had improved as an entertainer. Today we'll have a look at the life, career, and death of the icon of icons, the legend himself, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley, the man behind the music. Elvis Aaron Presley would grow up to become an icon, forever etching his name in the annals of music history. His journey from a humble, poverty-stricken childhood to becoming the king of rock and roll is truly amazing. His musical journey begins in the heart of the American South, where gospel music and rhythm and blues would lay the foundation for his unique style. As a teenager, Elvis was drawn to the vibrant Beale Street, the epicenter of Memphis's thriving blues scene. His exposure to African American music significantly influenced his style, blending traditional rhythm and blues with his own unique flair. In 1953, an 18-year-old Elvis walked into Sun Records, aiming to record a song as a birthday gift for his mother. This session caught the attention of Sam Phillips, the record label owner, who saw something special in the young performer, and the following year he recorded That's Alright, a song that would become his first single and mark the beginning of a new era in music. Elvis's rise to fame would be meteoric. His dynamic vocal style, combined with his energetic and sexually suggestive performances, had made him an instant sensation amongst teenagers, much to the chagrin of their parents and conservative society. Songs like Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, and Jailhouse Rock not only topped the charts, but also became anthems for a generation that was seeking a new form of expression. However, Elvis's journey was not only about the music, he also became a symbol of cultural shift in the 1950s. His fame saw him skyrocket into Hollywood, where he starred in over 30 films. Although these movies were often criticized for being formulaic, they played a crucial role in expanding his popularity well beyond the musical realm. Despite all of the success, his personal life would also be fraught with challenge. His marriage to Priscilla in 1967, while initially seeming like a fairy tale, was tumultuous and eventually ended in divorce in 1973. This period would also mark a decline in his physical health and an increasing dependence on prescription drugs, a struggle that had remained largely hidden from the public eye. In the 1970s, he made a comeback with a series of televised concerts, showcasing his incredible talents and resilience. The Aloha from Hawaii concert in 1973 became a global event, solidifying his status as an international superstar Yet behind the glitz and glamour, Elvis was a man grappling with personal demons, loneliness, and the pressures of fame. His musical legacy is immeasurable. He's recognized as one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century, with a voice that could effortlessly traverse genres from rock and roll to ballads to gospel. His influence extended beyond music, impacting fashion, language, and lifestyle, and his impact is still felt today. The Last Conversation, Elvis and Billy Stanley Just two days before his untimely demise, Elvis engaged in what would be his final heartfelt conversation with Billy Stanley, his stepbrother. This conversation, steeped in emotional depth and spiritual introspection, offered a rare window into the soul of a man who was often seen only as a larger-than-life figure. The day would be like any other in the Presley household, full of the usual hustle and bustle, but for Elvis and Billy, it turned into an unexpected journey through memories, reflections, and some profound questions. Elvis was known for his love of martial arts and was showcasing his new karate blades to Billy. Their playful sparring, a common bond between brothers, took a serious turn when Billy accidentally cut his finger. Elvis's response to the minor injury was telling of his character. He immediately dropped the knives and tended to Billy with a mixture of concern and humor. Standing by the sink in front of a large mirror, Elvis took on the role of a caregiver, exaggerating the seriousness of the cut in a playful manner. This moment, lighthearted on the surface, would be a precursor to the depth of conversation that was to follow. 
As they stood together, it was a rare instance of quiet intimacy in Elvis's often chaotic life. The tone would shift when Elvis, in a somber mood, asked Billy a profound question. Do you believe God forgives us for all our sins? This question was not anything new. It was a topic they had discussed many times over the years, but this time it seemed to carry more weight and urgency. Billy was taken aback by the seriousness of the moment and reassured Elvis of his belief in God's forgiveness. And Elvis's response, I just wanted to hear you say that, Billy, would be laden with a sense of relief and a hint of unresolved inner conflict. This conversation about forgiveness had transitioned into reflections on love and the future. Elvis, who had experienced his fair share of romantic highs and lows, spoke to Billy about love with a sense of wisdom and experience. He mentioned being in love twice, though he refrained from naming any names. This allusion to his past relationships, especially his marriage to Priscilla and his relationship with Ginger Alden, highlighted his longing for a connection that transcended the superficial. Elvis had expressed his hopes for Billy's future, assuring him that he too would find love one day. This was a tender moment showing his concern for his younger sibling's happiness, a contrast to the public persona of the rock and roll superstar. These exchanges became more than just mere conversation. They were a passing of wisdom, an older brother's way of preparing his younger brother for the journey of life. The discussion would then turn to faith and spirituality, a cornerstone in Elvis's life where he expressed his intentions to read his Bible, a practice that had become increasingly important to him in his later years. His spiritual search would be a quest for the meaning in life that had been full of both extraordinary triumphs and profound personal challenge. As they parted ways that evening with plans to meet again, their final words were simple yet powerful. Elvis said, Okay, I love you. And these words, ordinary in everyday life, took on a new significance in retrospect. They were the last words that Billy would ever hear Elvis speak. Billy's drive home that night would be full of reflection. He considered returning to Elvis to express his love and appreciation, a decision he would later regret not having acted upon. This moment of hesitation, a common human experience, became a memory for Billy, encapsulating the fragility of life and the importance of expressing love when we have the chance. In the more broad context of Elvis's life, this conversation became a microcosm of his inner world, a world that was full of love, humor, spirituality, and the constant search for forgiveness and meaning. It would reveal a man who, despite his fame and fortune, grappled with the same questions that confront us all. Elvis's relationship with Billy was more than just familial. It was a bond which allowed him to express his vulnerabilities and seek guidance in a world where he was often surrounded by yes-men and admirers. In Billy, Elvis found not only a brother, but a friend, someone with whom he could share his deepest fears and hopes. The Final Days – A Glimpse into Elvis Presley's Last Moments As the sun set on the midsummer of 1977, the king of rock and roll was nearing the end of his remarkable yet tumultuous journey. The final days of Elvis Presley were a mosaic of personal struggle, unfulfilled aspiration, and fleeting moments of tranquility that were overshadowed by the exonerable decline of his health. Elvis Presley's residence, Graceland, had become more than just a home. It was a sanctuary, a fortress against the outside world's relentless scrutiny. Inside these walls, Elvis had battled his inner demons, shielded from the public eye, and despite his declining health, he was actively involved in planning future projects, indicating his undiminished passion for music and performance. His schedule would be lined with concert dates, and there was talk of new recordings, showing his relentless drive to create and connect with his audience. However, the vibrancy of his public persona contrasted sharply with his private life. His health was in rapid decline and a consequence of years of prescription drug abuse and unhealthy lifestyle choices. He was battling various ailments from glaucoma to high blood pressure, made worse by his increasing dependence on a cocktail of medications. And his inner circle, who had witnessed his transformation from a dynamic performer to a man struggling with his physical and mental well-being, were deeply concerned but felt powerless to intervene. In the midst of all of this, Elvis had found solace in spirituality. He spent hours reading the Bible, reflecting on his life and seeking peace in his faith. 
The spiritual quest was nothing new. He had always been drawn to the mystical and the divine, and often engaged in conversations about life, death, and forgiveness, seeking answers to questions that had haunted his soul. On August the 16th of 1977, the day began like any other at Graceland. Elvis was preparing for another series of concerts, starting with a show in Portland, Maine. However, beneath the veneer of normalcy, he was struggling. His dependence on prescription drugs had reached a critical point, and his physical health was rapidly failing. That afternoon, he retired to his bathroom, not unusual given his long-standing battle with insomnia and his routine of taking medication to help him sleep. But tragically, he would never emerge again. His fiancée, Ginger Alden, had discovered him unresponsive on the bathroom floor, a moment that would be etched in history as the end of an era. The news of Elvis Presley's death would send shockwaves around the world. Fans, friends, and family were left reeling, struggling to comprehend the loss of a man who had been an integral part of their lives. Whether through his music, films, or the sheer force of his personality, Elvis was not only a singer or an entertainer, he was an absolute icon, a symbol of a generation's hopes, dreams, and aspirations. In the aftermath of his death, questions would arise about the circumstances that led to his tragic ending, the role of prescription drugs, the responsibility of those around him, and the pressures of fame and fortune were all scrutinized. However, amidst the controversy and conjecture, one truth would remain. The world had lost a legend. Elvis's Last Wish and Its Significance in the reflective calm of his final days, Elvis Presley expressed a last wish that was as simple as it was profound. It was not a grandiose desire for more fame or wealth, nor was it a lament over unachieved ambition. Instead, it was a deeply personal yearning for spiritual peace and forgiveness. During their last conversation, Elvis's question to Billy about God's forgiveness had underscored this wish. By seeking reassurance about divine forgiveness, Elvis was essentially expressing a desire to find peace with himself and his maker. This wish for forgiveness and peace would be significant for many reasons. Firstly, it highlighted the often overlooked spiritual dimension of Elvis's life. Despite his rock and roll image and lifestyle, he had a deep and enduring interest in spiritual matters. He was raised in the Assembly of God Church, where gospel music had laid the foundation for his musical career, and all throughout his life he maintained an interest in various spiritual texts, often seeking solace in the Bible during the most turbulent of times. This spiritual quest was not only a passing interest, it was an integral part of his identity, often in conflict with his hedonistic side of rock and roll and fame. Secondly, his last wish would reflect his inner conflict and struggle with guilt and redemption. Despite all of his immense success, his life would be marked with personal challenges, which included a battle with drug addiction and the moral dilemmas that fame had brought on. His longing for forgiveness could be seen as a response to these struggles, a desire to reconcile the contradictions of his life. This struggle between his public image and private reality would be a constant theme in his life, and his last wish was an acknowledgement of this internal battle. Moreover, this wish for peace and forgiveness would also be a reflection of his humanity. Often idolized as a larger-than-life figure, Elvis, much like anyone else, grappled with existential questions and sought meaning beyond his worldly achievements. His last wish revealed a man who was confronting his mortality, yearning for a sense of completion and understanding at the end of the journey of life. In a more broad context, Elvis's last wish resonates with the universal human experience speaking to our common desires for acceptance, forgiveness, and peace, especially as we face the ending of our lives. In this way, Elvis's last wish transcends his personal story, touching on a theme that is relevant to us all. The significance of this wish also lies in its ability to humanize a figure often seen only as an icon, challenging the one-dimensional perception of Elvis as merely a rock star or a cultural symbol, it reveals the multifaceted nature of his character. This more nuanced understanding allows us to appreciate the depth and complexity of Elvis Presley, not only as a performer, but also as a person. The Legacy Left Behind The passing of Elvis Presley in August of 1977 would mark the end of an era, but the legacy that he left behind continues to resonate in the world of music and beyond. 
His sudden and tragic departure from the world stage had left fans and followers in a state of shock and mourning, yet his influence and impact on culture and music proved to be enduring and far-reaching. He was not only a singer or an entertainer, he was a cultural icon who had redefined popular music and had a profound influence on the entertainment industry. His unique blending of blues, country, and rock and roll created a new musical idiom that had broken social and racial barriers. His charismatic stage presence, distinctive voice, and pioneering musical style had laid the foundation for modern rock music, inspiring generations of musicians and performers. His influence extended beyond music into the realms of fashion, film, and popular culture, and his style, characterized by his flashy suits, unique dance moves, and charismatic persona, had become proof of a new era in music and youth culture. He was a symbol of the post-war cultural revolution, representing a break from traditional values and norms. Beyond his contributions to music and culture, Elvis's legacy is also defined by his humanitarian efforts and philanthropy. He was well known for his generosity, often donating to charities and supporting various causes. His legacy of kindness and compassion is often overlooked in his life story but remains an integral part of his enduring legacy. His influence on music history is undeniable. He's often credited with bringing rock and roll into mainstream culture, paving the way for future artists and genres. His recordings and performances continue to inspire musicians all across various genres, from rock and pop to country and gospel. And his legacy lives on through his fans and the community that is built up around his memory. Graceland, his home in Memphis, Tennessee, has become a pilgrimage site for his fans worldwide, drawing hundreds of thousands of visitors each and every year. The annual candlelight vigil on the anniversary of his death is a remarkable display of love and devotion from his fans. Elvis's influence has also been recognized with numerous awards and honors, including multiple Grammy Awards, the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, and the induction into several music halls of fame. His record sales, estimated at over one billion worldwide, make him one of the best-selling solo artists in the history of recorded music. And moreover, the story of Elvis Presley has been a subject of fascination for scholars, biographers, and filmmakers. His life and career have been explored in countless books, documentaries, and films, which attempt to unravel the complexities of his character and the phenomenon that he created. The release of biopics and documentaries, even decades after his death, demonstrate the ongoing interest in his life and the enduring nature of his legacy. However, Elvis's legacy did not come without controversy. His life would be marked with periods of personal struggle, and his death sparked discussion about celebrity culture, the pressures of fame, and the dangers of substance abuse. These aspects of his story serve as cautionary tales and have contributed to a more nuanced understanding of the price of fame. Elvis Presley and his impact on future generations Elvis Presley's influence extends far beyond the boundaries of his era, impacting not only his contemporaries, but also shaping future generations of artists and fans. His legacy has long influenced artists across various genres, inspiring countless individuals with his life and music. Artists from different genres, ranging from rock and roll to pop, country, and even hip-hop, have all cited Elvis as a major influence, and his style of blending different musical styles broke traditional boundaries, laying the foundations for genre-crossing collaborations that are commonplace today. Musicians like The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Madonna, and even contemporaries like Bruno Mars and Justin Timberlake have all acknowledged his influence on their music and stage personas. His pioneering role in rock and roll paved the way for other music movements. He was a trailblazer in breaking racial barriers in music by bringing the rhythm and blues sounds of African-American music to a wider audience. He had played an integral part in the early civil rights movement, challenging the status quo while helping to bridge cultural divides through his music. From his humble beginnings to his meteoric rise and unprecedented fame, to his tragic ending, he's become a part of the collective consciousness, serving both as an inspiration and a cautionary tale. Embodying the American dream, he has inspired countless individuals to pursue their own dreams, regardless of their background, and his struggles with fame and health serve as a reminder of the pressures that can come with celebrity status. In addition, fan clubs, tribute artists, and impersonators around the world keep his memory alive, celebrating his music and perpetuating his cultural significance. These communities are not only about nostalgia, 
They're about Elvis's ability to connect with people across different ages, cultures, and backgrounds. And academically and culturally, Elvis continues to be the subject of interest and study. Scholars analyze his music and career, explore his role in cultural and social movements, and see his life as a window into the changing dynamics of American society in the mid-20th century. It offers insights into topics like celebrity culture, media influence, and the evolution of music and entertainment. Today, his music, life, and legacy live on, and Elvis is remembered as the king of rock and roll and will be for many, many years to come.